How can you feel less anxious? Well, one of the greatest things that I've found is, believe it or not, the feminine can help us feel less anxious. And anxiety is such a prevalent challenge today for so many people. And what I have found is first and foremost, one of the magical gifts of the feminine is the power of awareness, diffuse awareness, broad awareness, being able to see from many perspectives. And so first of all, we can take that feminine quality and say, okay, how can I take a look at this from another perspective? Maybe there's a different story I can tell myself, a different viewpoint or vantage point that I can see things from that doesn't feel so anxiety inducing. Um, maybe there's another you know, uh, opportunity to, to notice something that I haven't been noticing before. So awareness is first and foremost as a beautiful feminine quality and way for us to begin to lessen our anxiety. Now, the feminine also is incredibly great at being in the flow and anxiety completely resists the flow. Anxiety is a, a situation of, of feeling like we're struggling, we're suffocating, we're kind of going up against blocks and barriers and um, feeling stuck even. And so we could say, oh, well, how do I just go into the flow when I'm feeling anxiety? Part of it is about thinking of the flow, you know, just considering that feminine quality. What would it take to be in the flow right now? How can I step into the flow and allow myself to be carried by the river, so to speak, rather than bumping into the rocks and resisting and holding on to the side? What would I have to do? So just being aware of flow and how you might step into it and beginning to explore that. Now, another really powerful tool that the feminine does that can help lessen our sense of anxiety is allowing. Now, allowing is not the same as agreeing with or taking sides or um, anything like that. It's more of an acceptance, like this is what I'm dealing with. This is what I have in front of me. This is life right now. and. I don't need to worry about tomorrow. I don't need to be stuck in the, the struggle or even that sense of tension that can come with overly worrying and, and being um, caught up in the anxiety of what if, what if, what if, right? And instead, when we can think and consider the idea of allowing, the what if becomes what if, right? Instead of what if this happens, it starts to become what if, what if, what if that happens, you know? How can, I, how can I look at that? Could it be that I could just be with it, that I have the tools? Which brings me to another feminine quality that is so powerful around anxiety, and it's hard to do, easier said than done, but surrender. The power of being receptive and open and surrendering into the moment, allowing whatever is to be, allowing ourselves to let go of the anxiety, uh, let go of the tension that we're feeling in our being. Sometimes just remembering these feminine qualities can be so, so powerful. And a final piece that I wanna share of the feminine and how the feminine wisdom within us can help us to relax into our anxiety a little bit more, can be a reminder or a trigger is the realm of emotions. The feminine is so connected to the emotional realm. And when we can tap into the emotion that's underneath the anxiety, this is the depth that the feminine is. The feminine helps us to go to the depths. And now the depths aren't always easy. They aren't always fun. It can feel very scary. There's lots of mythology. Um, like the concept of the story of Persephone and Inanna and the gates of Inanna and different stories around going to the depths and deepening into our beingness. And that can sometimes induce anxiety, but it's really important to look at the emotions underneath it. You know, am I feeling angry? Am I feeling... Um, a sense of loss or grief or deep sadness? Am I feeling uh, something that I remember feeling as a child that's bringing up an old story for me? So these are beautiful feminine tools to consider when you're in the midst of anxiety. First of all, awareness, notice, 
Second, allow, or flow, actually. Second was flow, and then allow, and then move towards surrender and receptivity, and then consider the emotions that are underneath it all. These are just a few simple tools. It's not gonna turn everything off and make you feel no more anxiety, but it's beautiful to consider how the feminine can help us move through anxiety with a little more grace and a little more peace. And I invite you, if this was helpful, share it with others that you know it might be helpful too. And please subscribe, um, leave some comments, share with me what you notice and if any of these tools were helpful. Thank you.